So, this is the first episode when Uliki is away. Huh? I didn't read your last episode's comments because Uliki is in Copenhagen visiting Dano. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Soviet Republic, and welcome back Uliki being in Copenhagen, probably having a nice Danish beer. Uh, visiting his old friend Dano, so uh, I'm not. I'm gonna gonna be reading and ignoring your comments. This is properly gonna be ignoring your comments because, well, good reason they don't exist. They're not in the comment section yet. I wanted to check out some of the things regarding these constructions. Something that caught my eye here. This building on the left has one, two, three, four, five floors. And the one on the right has the same amount of floors, but it's way, way, way shorter. So I don't know how, what kind of dwarves are inhabiting this place compared to this one. But obviously there's a discrepancy between the size of the apartments. But hey-ho, you know, beggars can be choosers, so let's uh, move on, let's get over it. As you can see here, uh, most of the uh, construction materials are delivered, except the almighty bricks, which... Uh, we still have a problem with a bit. I'm kind of hoping that they're going to be delivering all of this like quite soon. You can see a lot of a lot of trucks going uh, to get the bricks on the border crossing, but we do require require 80 ton of them. Look at this bad boy with 12 tons of clothing, which is worth 30,000 rubles. That's cheap is uh, cheap is uh, celebrating these exports that we are that we are achieving at the now at uh, at the moment achieving at the moment. So that's gonna be that's gonna be quite nice. Uh, coal wise, steel wise, how are we doing steel wise? This is iron ore being imported. We're still missing a lot of coal. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why is there nine tons of? Ah, right, it's full. I thought it wasn't full. Okay, that's totally my bad. Okay, uh, harvest season has started. Let's see our. Uh, this is one of the reasons when somebody asked me in the comment section why like you have so much crops um, in your storage why don't you just use the crops from the storage this is the perfect time to show you what is the amount of crops that we have in our storage this is 900 tons <clears throat> out of um, 380 so that means around 20 percent or 24 20 20 25 percent i wanted to say and the other one is a little bit higher it's at 70 percent this is the thing that we need to address at the moment we do have this uh food factory that is uh not producing as much as i would like you can even see here these uh vehicles are not delivering enough people to the uh, to work here. It's only 11, 11 people. Uh, this is Momansk Pasen Station? No. Uh, so this guy is delivering only 11 workers here. This is our heating plant and our food production facilities, um, which are way, way low on 35%. Uh, we need to increase the productivity. Momansk bus stop, and this is this is all next stop, right? Uh, yeah, let's, let's put this one in production as well. You can see that this guy delivered people as well, but that's way, way too low. We are, we need more people here, and I have no idea why they're delivering such a small amount of workers or people here. I'm, I'm looking for green buses who are delivering workers here. You can see one of them uh, going back, and this is the green bus, this blue bus over here. Let's see how many workers he's going to take on board. He's going to be full. I'm pretty sure they're going to... They, sh they all should be full, but... Um, Hey, ho, uh, I am not, whoa, 65%, what the hell is this? Right, but I forgot that uh, we had some comments on the previous video that I really, really wanted to address, so I'm just gonna do this, that would be, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Kuba Krul said it may be a good time to change the radio station, so uh, show to guarantee both, um, uh, radio shows to guarantee both cultural enjoyment and propaganda as currently it just keeps loyalty stable at a level that it the need for culture yeah this is actually quite a good idea so uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna slightly start changing the uh, cultural enjoyment and uh, probably education strength uh, currently it's four point you can see that this is gonna be growing a little bit we're still like uh, having a lack of Cultural. Maybe, maybe it should be just a 
just a cultural enjoyment. What do you think? Should I go for 10% and see how it's gonna influence us? Because the loyalty at the moment is 62%, which is quite high. Uh, happiness is 83%. If I increase the uh, cultural enjoyment, which is also 82%, but that's not bad. Bad. Like a sheep. Uh, that's not bad. Um, still, still, I think it's a good idea. Let's uh, try to enjoy, uh, increase the cultural enjoyment. Let's see how that affects us. 62% once, 82% the other. So we have uh, loyalty 62%, uh, cultural enjoyment 32. Okay, we said that we're gonna slow down our imports, but also I'm gonna start planning for the railroad construction uh, company or, or uh, company that's gonna be uh, pr uh, producing uh, railroad machinery. Let's see how much pollution will that bad boy generate. So it says here 18.8 uh, 18 tons per year. That seems like that's a lot. One reason, it is a lot. Let's see the power plants. How much do you generate? 38. So it's half the, uh, as much as the, um, as the actual power plant, which is um, kind of appalling. That means that it's really, really bad situation with uh, the with the um, pollution. Uh, now, I don't know, like, I was thinking of starting this um, train, um, I was thinking of starting this train uh, production line. The problem is, I'm not sure if it's profitable or not, because we don't know the price of the locomotives, at the, uh, locomotives will be the first things we're gonna be, maybe something smaller, like trams or whatever, but um, something uh, uh, smaller is gonna be the first thing we're gonna have to um, uh, import, oh, sorry, pr produce, uh, because the blueprints are gonna be probably cheaper for these things. It, was it like American blueprint we can do, and it would be more profitable, so I'm gonna be saving some almighty dollars as well. You can see here a lot of fuel is being exported now. Our production here, delayed coker, is uh, producing a little bit of coal, but that's way, way lower amount of coal than we need. We need to increase the coal for the brick production. Unfortunately for us, at the moment, uh, coal production is quite low. I am not sure how we can increase this because you can't uh, modify your refineries. Usually you would be able in real life, you would be able to modify your refinery to produce more uh, bitumen compared to uh, fuel. And this is, this is how much oil we are actually producing. So we can literally constantly run this uh, refinery to, to let's say 80%. And um, uh, we wouldn't be over hiring people there. Now, delay the coker, it has to have at least this much people. Uh, that would be 40% because of the uh, number of engineers that are required here. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to lower the amount of workers in the refinery for starts. For starts. You can see the co delayed coker is still a problematic thing. I, I can deliver coal from the border crossing directly to brick factory. I'm not sure if this is a solution. Um, I really, really don't want to develop the coal industry. I really don't. I don't want to be focusing on that. Um, we always are focused on that, but looks like uh, you're either going to be importing bricks or we're going to be making coal. Uh, another thing that I'm uh, aware of that we're going to have to focus on the new uh, chop chopping area. So I'm thinking of uh, removing this wood cutting post and placing it. Well, actually, in the meantime, we can start building new chop chopping posts. So let's start deforesting. Uh, cut it all down. Let's see where we can place these. Cut it all down. So somewhere around here. Quality of source 69 percent. <laughs> 69. Um, sure. Let's go for mud roads. Let's uh, make them build it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna need electricity here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be using same. Do we have a? Ooh, uh, but that's the wrong one. No, no. When we are done, when we are done with this, uh, I will then uh, build electricity infrastructure. I'm gonna disconnect this substation. We can build a substation. We can build a substation. So let's go for the electricity and substation. I will not build the. Uh, sure, why the hell not? I will not build anything else. Just a substation. Uh, electricity. We're gonna get it here as soon as um, uh, we depleted all the wood resources from here. 
Uh, wood is decent at the moment, but um, hey home. Uh, charcoal kilns, right? Somebody mentioned that. Charcoal kilns. Should we go for that? That would definitely create a little bit more. Oh, this is the uh, chemical distribution. Yeah, chemical distribution. Currently, we have 62 tons of chemicals. <laughs> that looks like a money bag. Oh, looks like a huge money bag of uh, 29%. Now, we need to bear in mind that our... Uh, let me double check these. These are chemical trucks. Oh, no, that's, that's not even close. Not even close. Where are the chemical trucks? Chemical brothers. Uh, chemical trucks over here. Okay, they're still going here. Okay, we need to distribute chemicals then. Uh, where are you getting chemicals from? Uh, from the cargo station? Which one? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I understand this now. I understand it fully. We need to distribute chemicals. We're gonna... We need a uh, uh, covered hull. Covered hull truck. Total capacity. Let's see what we have. Something nice. Something that tells we are delivering chemicals and we don't care. Yelch. Yelch has a three ton chemical capacity. I don't know. That seems... All of it seems too low. 3.9. So, so these chemicals are quite, quite, quite low. I'm interested to see what is... Uh, what is the reasoning behind this? Maybe cause or cross. 18,000. No, I would rather have two Yelches. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go Maz. Maz. Uh, MZ. I think it's MZ is Maz. Not sure. Uh, Minsk Autozavod. But uh, let's go with two Maz. That's it. 9,000. They are 3 down capacity. I'm fine with that. Uh, speed. 88 kilometers per hour. They are faster than... The W50s, which is uh, 80 kilometers per hour. That's fine. Um, we can set them up uh, and say it like this. Um, loading of chemicals from here. And you're going to be unloading chemicals to here. And unload chemicals over here. The line must be drawn here uh, to 100%. Uh, yeah, just fill chemicals all the way. Now, there's another thing we need to address. The elephant in the room. The money elephant in the room. Unfortunately, we do not have the... Uh, we don't have enough chemicals for exporting because they're going to have to fill it up first. We have two distribution offices that are importing chemicals. Let's see how many chemicals do we have. This is uh, importing to a 30%. Let's uh, remove this. Whoa, we are importing food. Today. Let's stop that let's stop this uh machine parts electronics alcohol that's all fine that's all fine okay leave all of this alone um i can increase it to 40 percent maybe maybe just to no there's a lot of food here well yeah, yeah food we're not importing clothing don't import okay so next stop would be to deliver chemicals which we are doing then next stop would be to uh Export excess chemicals. So we're gonna go and select this one. I'm gonna say chemicals, but over let's say 20%. So we can start exporting them right now. And trucks are gonna be these are Yelch trucks. Um, they're gonna be on the way straight away. So we'll see how how they're gonna operate. How they're gonna how many? One, two, three. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of trucks. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The, the those are chemicals. They're expensive. In this case, this this is chlorine. Uh, we decided that this is going to be chlorine factory, chlorine plant. Uh, it's producing chlorine for the water purification, for drinking water purification, which we are using in two of our uh, pumping stations, but also... Um, also, we're going to be using it uh, for exports a little bit and the future series that we're going to develop. Anyway, anyway, we're going to have uh, something new. Oh, well, not really. It's, uh, we saw this uh, plenty of times, but I was thinking about the new farm that's going to be focused on something new. Not really. It's going to be focused on something old. Uh, alcohol production. I want us to have proper grained vodka, mostly for exports, but some for domestic consumption as well. So, um, currently, uh, food production is still... Okay, it's a little bit more impressive. I'm just going to double-check this and recalculate our food and crop uh, capacity because new chemical plant that we have over here, it's going to be dependent on the... Let's see here. We're going to need wood. We're going to need... Okay, uh, this is going to be limited amounts, only wood. 
uh, this is going to be chemical production and distribution. So we need, uh, let's go like this. We're going to need two dumper trucks. We need proper trucks. Uh, okay, let's go with um, cover hull. Cover hulls are going to be delivering grain. Okay, so two grains, total capacity. Uh, total capacity higher. Cross. Ooh, these are going to be expensive. If I'm going to buy eight trucks, that's going to be a lot. I am going to go for sensible solution. I'm going to go for two grains. Okay, grain is going to go with this one. This one has a... They have same... Co no, no, no. This is going to be proper grain. It's going to be like Škodas. Two Škodas for grain. And then we're going to go for dry bulk. No, dump, uh, dumper. Yes, we're going to need gravel. Again, needs to be something nice on the roads. Kras or Kras... Kras, we have this on Kras. They're a little bit too big for me, uh, and they don't look like something that you would have on the roads. Neither, neither of these, at least, you know, like, uh, you know, public, like, uh, I, I think Zill is the closest thing that I would like to have. Zill, um, and it's fast. And then this one. J.E. Polish. Just because they look a little bit more road worthy. You know what? I don't care. Two of these. Two of these, and then we have the oil tankers. Again, something nice looking, but affordable. So we have uh, W50 with nine tons. Uh, how much do you consume here? Four tons per day. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go for two at least. Uh, Yelch or this one? They have I love one each, one each. One each, and then we have the open hull. This is going to be for tree, tree transport. Tree transport can be anything. Kras are the nice looking ones. But no, uh, Yelch again, or uh, this Urals. Um, Urals is really, really nice truck, but uh, I think it's too rugged for the streets. Both the it and Kras. Um, I'm going to go for Yelch. There we go. One, two. Okay, so this is this is gonna be delivering stuff to our chemical. Oh no, absolutely not. Not the chemical plant. To everything else, but not not the chemical plant. Um, we want to finish the roads. Um, yeah, sure. Why the hell not? Let's uh, finish the roads here and then the roads here. Okay, that's fine. I'll finish the roads first, and then uh, we're gonna set everything up. Uh, asphalt done here, asphalt done here, uh, this one is not done, I'm gonna have to, do I'm sorry for working at night guys, but you know, that's me, night owl, or not really, I shouldn't be, but sometimes. Uh, let's separate it from the road, and let's connect it here, so they have access to all parts of the road, so they can build it as soon as possible. Uh, this road is done, that means that we have access to the uh, main road, I'm just gonna try to asphalt. Asphalt everything. Remove this access. That's great. And then asphalt here as well. Yeah, let's asphalt this first, and then we're gonna focus on. So this chemical, uh, this chemical area here, it's uh, more or less done. Uh, we need to connect electricity. We need to connect the water and uh, you know deliver water. But again, it that, that's almost done. All of it. Roads are almost done. The distribution office is, as previously mentioned, done. The only thing that we're missing is distribution office of uh, chemicals. You know, sending them away. Uh, that's something that's gonna have to be done separately i'm probably gonna put it on uh, across the road here so let, let's do that straight away so we have distribution office another eight vehicle distribution office t rotate can i can i just mirror it here no the unfortunately the cables don't allow us to build them over the building but hey ho uh f1 do i put it here then where the hell not it's gonna look a little bit uh f1 again Yeah, sure. Let's just do it like this. Uh, this is too short. Let's put it footpaths right away so they can finish it faster. That's fine. And um, I don't think we need to do anything else. This is distribution of chemicals across the map. Mostly it's going to be for nuclear industries, but some of it is going to be for exports as well. Um, but yeah, distribution offices are necessary. Uh, that's it. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and do a time lapse now. Oh, 20 minutes. Jeez, will he ever stop talking? See you in a five.
Bada boom, bada beam, another financial issue. Uh, cheap financial officer. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> I'm gonna go for 200,000, another loan, so we can keep up with the uh, payments, which should be enough to repay one of the loans, but also uh, to keep the country running. I think it's a decent decision. Uh, I think it shouldn't take too long for, first of all, to repay the loan that we have, and also to get uh, some of the uh, factories up and running. For example, here, you can already see that we have... Uh, we have everything that we need. We can actually start producing this. Uh, here we go. 20 workers. Let's start with 20 workers. That would be 10%. That means that they're going to be uh, creating uh, half a ton of electronics per day. And then we're going to be consuming uh, 0.2 tons of plastics, which we have. We'll see how, how the storage is being filled up. Uh, the most is chemicals. I mean, the most is steel, but chemicals are uh, something that is going to be harder for us to accumulate. So, there we go. I will assign this one for exporting all the electronics that we have. Uh, it's going to be like this. And go and uh, fill it over. When it's over 10%, then we're going to be loading. Um, they're going to be loading electronics. 10% is a lot. It's like 30 tons. That's going to take a few days for us to... Uh, to produce. Uh, in the meantime, I started production or setting up the plastics factory. Plastics factory here. It's gonna take a while for us to actually build it. Let us check the storage. Let us check the storage for, uh, storage capacity for this plastics factory. This is the smallest one we have, I believe. Uh, it's the Robses one. Uh, it's smaller even than vanilla. Only 45 workers. It's uh, also size-wise, it's small. Uh, the capacity 40 tons. It is consuming 20 tons of. Oof. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of chemicals and a lot of plastics that are gonna gonna be consumed by by this factory. But we'll do our best. We'll do our best. Uh, big chemical factory being produced here. Um, hopefully that's gonna be offsetting some of the production that we're gonna be needing. Again, plastics are going, only going to be needed for, for this. We are importing it at the moment. But we'll see how it's gonna go. We'll see how it's gonna go. Chemicals, chemicals are gonna be um, currently on a back burner. Uh, something, uh, not on a back burner, chemicals are probably the next thing that we're gonna have to invest in. Unemployment too high. Uh, traffic jam, stop production, that's fine. Traffic jam. Is that the traffic jam that everybody's talking about? Let's see if it is. Looks like... Uh, where is it? Yeah, this this truck is... Uh, ah, we still didn't finish the... Uh, we still didn't finish the pub. We need to finish the pub first. When the pub is done, then I'm just moving. I'm moving everything in, the, in the, this pub. Okay, okay. Um... Yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think about the new loan, all the criticism that we almost paid off the loan and uh, I went on a building spree but that our current um, economy couldn't uh, sustain. So what do you think about that? Would you uh, fa fall into the same trap I did with uh, over building, over extending ourselves, going for the nuclear industry? I did uh, <laughs> eventually, I did eventually stop the, where is it? Just went over the road. Let's zoom out and see where it is. I did stop production of the uranium processing. No, no, not uranium processing. The uranium conversion plant because it does require 144 tons of steel. Uh, that's the, that will be a lot of money. So we're gonna build that as soon as we are, you know, ready to do it. There's also mine production and this stuff that we're gonna have to build. I I didn't construct something that is gonna be really necessary here, like. Uh, uh, first, a bus station. I'm gonna do that first. Yeah, look at this. There's a mine here, and there's a couple of yeah. It's gonna have to be all in in here. So if you go for a bus stations, I can do the same one uh, that we did here. Can I build it really close? I can indeed, uh, like this, and then like this. Uh, I don't know if Road is going to be constructing this by automation. I'll assign it myself. 
And then we have the uh, one of the elephants in the room. It's the fire station around here. What about heating? I'll probably go for the fire stations without heating. I think that's one of the uh, one of the uh, buildings that I don't think they should have heating uh, required. But hey ho, we still have it. So fire station. You can see when you hover over them, vanilla one has on the left hand side. Uh, da, 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 heat water tank 2.8 tons so this one does not have heat water tank this one does have it this one does not so it's up to you which ones you're gonna choose but i will go for one without heating tank so um so uh, uh, we don't have to have the uh, heating infrastructure around here i'm gonna go for footpath to build this one because it's too small to have a vehicle uh, vehicle assigned to it we still have the substation that needs to be built we still have a lot of a lot of things that needs to oh, what's with this one transport is well they're on the way yeah so that's it that's the current uh, current situation plastics factory being built we're gonna use the same plastic storage here oh they're gonna be using chemicals from here uh, how do i feel about that probably bad probably bad probably i should stop doing that right now I don't think they can share this storage because they're going to be taking all the chemicals for plastic. Maybe they should. Maybe I should have a, a separate uh, chemical factory. But this chemical factory is producing only 8 tons of chemicals per day. And the uh, plastics factory is going to be consuming 2.3 tons of chemicals per day. Uh, that means that uh, 0 0.8, that would be one third-ish. A little bit more than one third. So that means that... Haha, uh, <laughs> he said third. Um... The one third of five would be how much is that? One third of five is one point seven five point six six. So one, uh, not we need two thirds. Two thirds of five would be no, only one third. Yeah, one third. That would be one point six six tons of plastics. We would be producing one point six tons of plastics, and that means in. It's almost two tons of plastic per day, so th that's not a bad idea. I mean, I can go for chlorine factory somewhere else. I can redesignate this like plastics. Uh, I can re um, uh, plast plast oh chem plast chem plast. There you go, chem plast. This is the uh, chemical plastics. Chem plast is a factory that's going to be producing only for for. Uh, chemicals sorry for for plastics chemicals for plastics and then we're gonna have the uh, separate chemical factory somewhere else for chlorine it's fine it's going in the same pool anyway but I would like to have separate factories for this uh, that means that this factory is now <laughs> obsolete already because it's gonna consuming all the chemicals depending we're gonna have to balance our plastics production initially uh, this chemical plant is again gonna be a huge chunk uh, of our um, chemical production, but our nuclear industry is going to require a lot of chemicals as well. So another chemical plant is going to be needed soon enough. Uh, roads, kind of almost done. Uh, anything else? Kind of almost done and kind of almost done. Yeah, there, there's kind of almost done a lot of stuff. Um, I'm not sure if this is covered by fire department. It should kind of do be, but that doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Uh, I, I don't mind it now. Whoa. Oh, 69. Oh, yeah, 69 because they're delivering people from here to here. They can manage to do a lot of deliveries. And did I assign two? There's two cranes here. Murman's construction office is assigned to this one. I want to see this. Murman's construction office. Look, at three division. Three. Ha, <laughs> ha, give me more. Feed my soul, three division. How the hell is this being constructed? How is this pub over here being constructed by Murman's construction office? This is the auto search chaos chaos of the game there's no way in hell that this is two kilometers away no way in hell look at the yellow lines this is how much our construction office is covering and this is construction office over here and it was automatically assigned to the building all the way here can we even see there we go you see building is all the way on the bottom left hand side there we go building done perfect construction finished so we need the vehicles are you delivering alcohol no Alcohol delivering vehicle. It's gonna go from cargo station to a second pub. It's not of pub. Go away. And here, unload alcohol. Yes, and the way to be unloaded. You know why? 
because three division cannot build a model that has a parking space in front so you see here this pub here doesn't have parking space in front so it's blocking our snow plows police station medical and everything is blocking everything blocking the whole game so now as soon as our locals are consumed all this alcohol it's going to be <laughs> demolished as it deserves to be vanilla <laughs> please anyway uh, that's it i'm gonna leave it here i'm gonna say oh do i want to address these maybe real quickly no I, okay, fine, fine. Okay, let's do it. This is uh, construction two. Construction two needs to be done. You know what? I'll do this off screen. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave an SD comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, you have the description of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye bye.